All right, some of my uh, newer viewers, they uh, asked me to do this, all right? So this is going to be my uh, top 10 favorite Linux apps that I use on a daily basis, or maybe like a weekly basis, all right? And uh, we're going to put some rules into this, okay? Most of these apps, or yeah, most of these apps are just like GNOME apps. Uh, so this is going to be specifically just GNOME stuff that I use, okay? Um, Another thing is that none of these are installed by default on my Ubuntu system, so you actually have to go and install it yourself. Uh, last thing is that none of these are like command line apps. All of these are GUI apps. Okay. So that being said, um, first thing is I use you know Kunfer. Um, you don't know what it is? Just open the applications really quick. Instead of you wasting your time going to your menus and digging around trying to find what the hell you need, right? So, uh, Kunfer, I like this better than the other ones. Uh, was it um, GNOME Do? That thing has been stopped development, and plus it crashed on occasions, not all the time, but it does crash on occasions. Uh, and the other one was Synapse. Synapse is in the minor leagues, not even the major leagues yet, okay? It's missing a lot of features that I would consider essentials. So that's why Kunfer is the clear winner, right? Next thing is um, Pigeon. Um, it was the default, but not the default anymore. They replaced it with Empathy. And I don't really hate Empathy, it's just that I was getting a lot of spam and they don't really block spam. Uh, you know, I get a lot of porn message. Not that I hate porn, it's just that unwanted porn I don't like. And uh, yeah, I was getting too much spam. That's why I use Pigeon for instant messaging. You know, like uh, AIM, uh, Yahoo, uh, MSN, and all that. Next thing is um, what is it here? Chromium is the open source version of Google Chrome. Reason why I like this is because it's fast and sufficient. It's probably the fastest browser on Linux. Period. Uh, some people like Firefox. I personally hate that. Reason being is that it's too slow. Not only that it's slow, is that um, the Windows version of Firefox is actually faster than the Linux version of Firefox, from my experience. And that just pisses me off because you know you're supposed to be open source. Then why don't you be fast on an open source operating system, which is not. And that's why I, I really cannot support uh, Firefox anymore. Because it's garbage, right? <laughs> Some people hate me for saying that, but that's just the truth from my experience. It's too slow. Uh, the next thing is that um, Avant Windows Navigator. This was actually my first dock that I used on Linux, and then I switched over to uh, Docky, and then I'm now I'm back to Avant Windows Navigator, mainly because of uh, the memory usage is lighter, and uh, I just like it simple. I don't really use the dock for you know a lot of things. I just have it here because uh, I don't like those stupid uh, taskbar to be up in the panels or anything. And I like it to auto high. It goes away. I don't want to see it. Uh, so that's why I use Avant Windows Navigator. And the next thing is I use Gake. Right? I use this, uh, you know, to run commands and mainly my bash alias stuff. So if you never heard of bash alias, you know, it's just that you type in all your commands that you like to use and you don't like to remember the long commands it's all in here and that's the reason why I used uh, the terminal uh, on occasions like I'm doing the screencast here right that's what I'm using it for um, so that's geek if even if you use like one or two commands um, you know uh, like on a rare occasion like once a week then I would actually recommend using that Uh, let's go on to the next thing is I use Purcell Lite because this is actually the stupid bug on GNOME that has never been fixed. I don't think they can even fix it. They're just going to go into GNOME 3 and forget about GNOME 2. But yeah, there's actually this bug and that's why I use Purcell Lite as my clipboard. The reason for that is I can use a hotkey, right, anytime. And I can just go, you know, copy my old uh, thing that I copy or whatever. And uh, I can just paste it. Uh, let's say paste it in here somewhere, All right? And if I go, maybe I copy this and I paste it. 
uh, real quick instead of the other ones you have to go up here uh, you know in the panel and then you have to click on it and you have to choose the one I just think that's uh, too long I like to use my hotkey and that's what this provides me to do so yeah per cell light that's what I use uh, the next thing is <clears throat> I use VLC you know I think everyone would use this uh, I don't like well I don't really hate M player it's just that M player doesn't have a podcast feature like this one does and I use the podcast feature in here quite a bit sometimes uh, per week you know to listen to or watch my uh, uh, you know podcast uh, videos like uh, from revision 3 or you know listening to MMA hour or something like that that's the reason why I use it and I also use this with my uh, conjunction with my you know bash aliases to watch like discovery channels or movies or whatever it is uh, with uh, subcast uh, so that's another thing I like VLC for okay last oh uh, wait another thing is uh, what is it here easy strokes if you don't know about that you examples we can do with it All right if I just do a mouse gesture I just close that application real quick you know here I open a new tab close tab right uh, so that's mouse gestures uh, sorry you didn't see anything but I don't want to talk about that again but that's easy strokes right there if you want to use mouse gestures to you know either replicate uh, hotkeys or whatever else you want to do with it uh, the other thing is shutter um, I've been using this for a long time like back before it was even called shutter it was actually called G Scrout. so that's how long I've been using it like probably like two or three years now um, most people just know it as shutter but I still remember it as G Scrout. And this is actually like the best uh, screenshot taker. You know, you can actually edit and then upload it to uh, Image Shack or whatever it is real quick. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is, uh, is that um, when you take some of these pictures and they have it here, it doesn't load up really quick. It takes actually time to load it up. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's just a slow load up. But everything else in there, I love it. Okay. So, shutter. Um, for screenshots, right? Uh, the next thing is um, keep pass. I use this to store all my passwords, you know. And uh, reason why I don't use like any online crap is because I don't trust them. Your last password, whatever the fuck it is. No, that's not, I don't trust that shit. All right, just just imagine it. Like all your password on the cloud. Uh, in one basket and they say they guarantee that you're not gonna get hacked okay yeah I'm gonna do that no I rather have it in my system where I can control over it I don't need access to the internet just to you know use my password uh, some people like it and that's fine but I, I wouldn't really recommend using that for like you know your bank account or whatever maybe like your porn passwords or something that's fine but for real legit passwords use something uh, you know on your local system right and this is a uh, keep pass X I believe right I think that's about it um, again these are not the default uh, applications you actually have to go and install it and that's what I use and I actually would recommend you know if you're new or something check some of these applications out it's actually productive in some way um, that's it for this one.